Hey guys, my name is Kobe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D text for free in Blender. We're going to be doing step by step and there's going to be a couple things involved. Any keys that I'm pressing are going to be coming up on the bottom left down here so you can follow that along. So let's jump right into this. So I'm starting with a brand new Blender document. We're just going to make sure we're in Blender render for right now. And we're going to be deleting the cube on screen by clicking it, clicking the delete key and enter. And we're going to get rid of that bad boy straight away. Next thing we're going to be doing is hitting shift and A and we're going to be bringing up a text layer. And to edit this text layer, we're going to have to hit the tab key to enter edit mode. And we're going to be able to just backspace, remove the default text and put in our own text. Once you're happy with your text, you can simply hit the edit key to get out of that. And we're going to be showing you how to add some thickness and some other different effects. So on the right hand side panel, there's a small F panel over here beside the materials thing. We're going to click on the F and this is where we can add our extrude thickness. So right here and under the geometry panel, we can extrude, which is, as you can see right now, is going to give our text some thickness. We can offset, which is going to expand the size around the text. I'm going to be putting none on that for the minute. You can also take away the offset to make the text skinnier. And uh, if we give the text depth, it's going to be giving a like edged bevel around it, which is also a nice little effect. In this case, I don't really feel like adding that, but it's just some other effects. And to change the font, what you can do is hit the tab key one more time, hold the shift key and go back a space like I am right now to highlight your text. And we're going to be coming down here to change our text under the font panel. Now, sadly, you can't just select fonts that are installed. You're going to need to locate to the file. So go to the regular font, hit the locate tool, which is right here, this little folder, and locate to where your font is. Mine's on my desktop and it's right here, an OTF file. Just double click and your text will automatically change to that. Hit, hit the tab key one more time to get out of that and your text will change to your desired font. Now, next thing we're gonna be doing is putting our text in the center so we can line it up to take a nice render of it so we can put it into Photoshop or use it as a thumbnail or whatever you wanna do. To do that, we're gonna hit the N key to bring up the transform panel. We're gonna be coming up to the top and we're looking for a location up here. We're gonna set the location to 000 for X, Y, and Z. And then we're gonna be changing our rotation on the X to 90 degrees to put our text in an upright position. You can put this at any angle you want. You have all your options here. You can scale up and down if you wish. Right now I'm gonna leave it in the center and I'm just gonna use the default size as I can just use the camera and change it around it to do that. Next, last thing we're gonna be doing with the text is we're gonna be adding a material to it. So beside our F panel on the text options, there's a material panel to the right of that, which is the circle. We're gonna be clicking that. We're gonna be hitting new and we're going to be able to select the type of material and color we want by coming down here to the fuse option and select the color. So right now I feel like a light blue would be nice for this. Something along the lines of this would be pretty cool. I'll change it later if I need to. You can come back in here and edit it at any time. You can also change the intensity or if you have an X, Y, or an RGB code or a hex code, you can enter them in here also. So now that we have our text all edited, we're gonna be lining up for the render. So we're gonna be grabbing our camera that is default here and I'm gonna be putting it to zero, zero, zero and I'm just gonna be lining it up. I think I feel like getting a low angle with this text. I normally aim for the upper angle, but I'm gonna be going for a low downright shot so what i'm going to be doing is dragging it back over using the arrows and then i'm going to be changing the rotation and position using the transform key that we brought up previously by pressing n and i'm going to be playing around with the angles to get a nice point of view on the camera if you hit zero on your numpad you're going to be able to change into the camera's view and then to get out of that we just press middle mouse and rotate to move it and we're going to keep doing this till we get our desired position i'm going to do this off screen so i don't take too much time wasting just lining up the shot i'm going to get that done next so once you have a camera in the position that you're happy with we're going to be adding some light sources for this scene by default we're left with one light source i'm just going to be deleting that by clicking delete and enter one more time and i'm going to be adding my own light sources because i want a couple of different angles to add a light source we're going to hit shift and a and we're going to be going to a lamp and we're going to be adding a sun once you have your sun added we're going to be bringing it in front and behind the camera in front of our text and we're gonna be duplicating it a couple of times. So I'm gonna put it to this kind of position. And by hitting Shift and D, we're gonna make a duplicate. If you left click straight away, you can move it to the side and we're gonna be adding a couple of these. So hit Shift and D one more time. We're gonna move it over and Shift and D one more time. And we're gonna move it over again. And I'm gonna highlight all of these suns by Shift and selecting. So we can select multiple. And I'm gonna Shift and D to copy multiple. And I'm gonna be dragging them underneath to get a nice angle. Now to make a nice render, you're gonna come up to the top and change from Blender Render to Cycles Render. We're gonna hit F12 for a render and we're gonna just see what it looks like. You can add a number of suns depending on the color and the brightness you're going for, but this is the kind of effect you can get by just adding 
a bit of text and a bit of color and it's really really cool depending on how much of a render you want to do you can change the quality settings to save this render simply hit f3 and choose your location to save it as give it a name and it will save as a png if there's any difficulty let me know i'll help out the best way that i can if you want to request any tutorials let me know on screen right now on the left you can see my latest video that you should check out and on the right hand side youtube will suggest a video you will most likely click on so what will it be who knows click it it's for you apparently <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.